Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am deeply honored to be with you here today. It is the fourth day of May, and it's 2017, and this month and this year, mostly this year, is flying by. Today is day three of Soul Secrets for Self-Healing. And it has been a very powerful couple of days. Um, there are quite a few, quite a few uh, methods to bring about self-healing. And a great deal of them, uh, at least what I am sharing, are directly associated with the wisdom and teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity. So today I'll be focusing on two or three different things that you can do to add on to the layers of what we have initiated in the first two days. <clears throat> so on Monday, I went into great depth on uh, the power and significance of self-communication and recognizing how what we're dealing with in front of us today is as a result of all that preceded this day. And if we continue to focus on what's in front of us today, especially if it's negative, it will create more of that in the future. And I spoke in detail about how to bring a shift to that, bring awareness to that. Uh, yesterday, day two, we focused on the power of forgiveness, going into very uh, extended detail on how, what is meant by forgiveness, the what, why, and how of applying it, specifically the how, because it's very important. And then the what part is, well, what do I actually ask forgiveness for? I went into great detail on those and why it's so important as a very important aspect of self-healing. If you missed either of those two days, I highly recommend you go to the archive, which is listed above this video. It gives you exact directions on how to uh, access the archives. And you can watch them then. Also, if you have access to podcasts, if you like listening to that audio, you can follow the link above and also do it that way. But either way, I do recommend that you take those in. Now, these do not have to be built upon each other to be effective, <coughs> but it does help to have the overall wisdom because today I'll be applying what we have learned then as well into today and, and bringing it into the fold. Although they do work individually, collectively it tends to work a lot better. Similar to the four power techniques, uh, which is body power, sound power, mind power, and the most important of the four powers, soul power. Most people know about body power, how they sit, where they place their hands, then blessings occur where, where your hands go and it flows. Most people know about sound power, that mantra carries vibrational uh, uh, frequencies that can help you to self-heal. And also most people are familiar with creative visualization, what you focus on is what you bring to fruition. And so these three of the four powers people know about, when we do them together, which very few people do, you can have great results. Soul power is the most powerful of the four powers. And when you combine those three and add the fourth, you have a synergy that can literally change everything. So that's a, a little bit of information to assist you <coughs> with having the greatest uh, return on your time investment for your self-healing. Uh, today, we're going to be adding some more tools to the tool bag. Now, the key about tools is you can have an entire tool chest, whether man or woman, you know what a screwdriver is, you know what a hammer is, you know what a pair of pliers are, uh, and you know what tape is. And if those are the four things you had in your toolbox, it's highly unlikely you would use a pair of pliers when what you really need is a screwdriver. It's unlikely you would use a hammer when what you really need is tape. So you use the tools in the way it is most needed for the condition that is most needed. The good thing about soul secrets and applying these wisdoms that I'm sharing with you for the condition of self-healing is that they all work individually, but if you apply them together, they work much, much better. So unlike a toolbox with the hammer, the screwdriver, the pliers, and the tape, that you can't imagine all of them would work well to accomplish one feat. In the case of soul secrets, the more of them you apply together, 
the much, much faster you will receive the value. So thank you all for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Today I am uh, offering this live stream from my living room. I ran out of high-speed data on my phone, and so I'm forced to utilize my laptop or my uh, desktop. So uh, I hope that everything is good. I saw a comment that the, the sound is low, but I have... <coughs> This helps. I thought I had it on already. Okay, so we will start again. Thank you for your patience. My name is Master Paul. I am honored for you to be joining me here today, May 4, 2017. And today is day three of Soul Secrets for Self Healing. The last couple of days have been very powerful. I focused first on the forgiveness, or excuse me, not on the forgiveness, but first on the nature of self-healing through uh, being aware of how we are manifesting more of what we're not wanting by not being present to the moment, by recognizing that everything from our past winds up in our present moment, and the more we focus on that, that it creates more in our future of what we're not wanting, that was what we focused on on the first day. This is a very important aspect of self-healing. The next thing that I focused on, uh, which was yesterday, was the very deep recognition, power, and significance of deep and authentic forgiveness. We went into what is forgiveness? What do you have to do to get to those deeper layers of forgiveness? And how do you go about identifying what exactly you're asking to forgive for? because we're all at the end of suffering on some level, be it financial or personal or relationship or whatever it might be, pain, doesn't matter. And uh, forgiveness has a direct correlation to the resolve of those sufferings. So yesterday I went into a great deal of depth on that. And if you were unable to, um, to attend either of those, I recommend that above the uh, video here that you click on the link that takes you to a page, shows you exactly how you can either watch the podcast on your leisure, listening to on your phone or receive them an email, whatever you want to do, or you can just watch the videos that were pre recorded after the live streams. Um, today is day three. We are focusing on additional ways in which you can accomplish self-healing using the power of soul and soul secrets. Now, soul and soul secrets <coughs> have um, many, many layers. Uh, Unlike a toolbox, which I don't know how much of this you heard, so I'll repeat. Unlike a toolbox, where you have a pliers, a hammer, a tape, and a screwdriver, you would not use tape when you really need a hammer. You would not use pliers when you really need a screwdriver. But the unique thing about soul secrets is you can apply them one by one by one collectively and create phenomenal results of self-healing. You can put together the four powers, sound power, mind power, body power, soul power, which has many layers. Soul power has many different attributes that you can layer upon each other and create significant, significant shift in blockages that might be showing up in your life. And so my encouragement to you is to make notes because when we hear things, we typically only retain 20 to 30 percent. That's a typical human uh, blockage. And that's if we're focused, guys. That's if you're like laser focused. We retain about 20 to 30 percent. Now, it depends on how much time. This is after a couple of days. You can retain a lot of it within the first couple of hours, but it wanes over time. One of the reasons why is because the nature of our consciousness. Uh, it has been documented that very recently that the human, <laughs> the human uh, ability to maintain focus is eight seconds. Eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in that period of time, a kid made a loud noise, a siren went off outside, you got a ding on your phone that gathered your attention. Uh, 
you name it, there's so many things that take our attention away from being focused. It's actually a shorter focus than a goldfish. So congratulations, the human race now has a shorter focus than a goldfish. And so write these things down because when you learn how to layer the wisdom, when you learn how to apply soul secrets to all the different problem areas that show up in your life, you can resolve them. You literally can bring healing to yourself, self-healing, by doing these, uh, these, these wisdoms and practices daily. <clears throat> and so today I'm going to reveal two or three more soul secrets that, again, when layered, will create tremendous, tremendous value. And there are so many more. I will continue to, to add more as we move into next week. I will extend this series into next week because there are so many secrets that, uh, that if you learn them, you will definitely be on the right path for self-healing. Now, most people, when they hear the word healing, they are thinking about their, their physical body, maybe their emotions. But this wisdom applies to literally every area of your life that is uh, out of balance. That includes relationship imbalances, that includes financial imbalances, that includes uh, uh, imbalances um, with your, of course, your health, emotional, physical, um, mental health. Uh, there is soul wisdom applies across the board to every aspect of the life. Why? It's very simple. Soul is the carrier of all of our life experiences of all lifetimes. Therefore, soul is the carrier of our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debt. That's another name for good karma, bad karma. And because spiritual virtue impacts our life positively, spiritual debt impacts our life negatively, we have both good things in our life and unpleasant things in our life. Everyone that's watching this responded to soul secrets for self-healing, meaning they probably have some area in their life for themselves or a loved one that's out of balance. That's what attracted you to come. That's what attracted you to listen, pay attention. And so the key, though, is understanding that soul and soul imbalances, good karma, bad karma, create the conditions of our life. When we grasp that, it's not even a secret, it's just a truth, uh, then you can, you have the tiger by the tail. When you grasp the truth that your soul carries forth all of your karmic virtue, all of your karmic debt, then you now have the beginning of the answer for all of your problems. The one sentence secret that Master Shah brings to us, the root cause of all success and all failure in your life is karma. It is exceedingly simple. And yet, after hearing this and your brain goes, ah, oh, I get it, I should pay attention. Tomorrow, the next day, you have the high potential to be right back in the mud complaining about how bad things are. So the wisdom will continually be repeated <clears throat> until the awakening occurs on high enough levels. And the reason the awakening does not occur immediately like we would like it to, the reason we don't apply these wisdoms every moment and every day like we would really truly want to is because of our own karma. Karma derails us. Karma takes our attention away. Karma uh, causes pain. Karma causes all of our problems, and it causes us to go back into the old patterns. Karma causes us to not move forward, even though we have the tools in front of us, like what you're, is being shared with you today. Karma is insidious in the way it works against our own health and wellness, and the ability to maintain our optimum ways of moving forward in life. So in order to win, in order to succeed, in order to rise above, we have to uh, make a plan. We have to layer these wisdoms and apply them on a daily basis. And whenever possible, take advantage of, of uh, special services that any of the master teachers like myself can offer. Get, get private consultations. It's something that I do. I can, I can zone in on exactly what the problems are, give you an A, B, C, D plan, take you from here to where you want to be, and if you do what is suggested on a consistent basis, I'm not only a, a, a soul journey coach and a health and life coach, but I can provide dramatic blessings that make this stuff dissolve a whole lot faster than you could on your own. 
So just kind of plug that piece of information away and take advantage of it when you're ready. But today is all about empowering you with, with wisdom and practices so you can self-heal. Okay, I only see 16 people live. That's insufficient. Come on, warriors, get out there and start hitting that share button. We need more people joining us today. There's just not enough. So let's see. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Kristen Rojas. <coughs> Welcome to Susan Birchmore. Welcome, Linda Jansen. Aloha to Johnny Mambodi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome also Robin Toth. Welcome to uh, Carol Mills. Welcome Ali. And also welcome Tammy Hunter. <coughs> Aloha Amanda Beatty. So let us go ahead and connect, and hopefully more people will join in, because today is going to be very powerful. We start with placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Much like a prayer position, we drop our left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Let us begin. There are all layers of the light beings serving the plan of the light side, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, Mother Earth, Father Heaven, all angels, healing angels, archangels, beloved masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifas, saints, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, all of those before us who have brought the great wisdom and teachings that have served humanity for eons. We love you, honor you, respect you. We invite your presence at this time. To the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to be present at this time. Dear the soul of the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, we respect you. <clears throat> we ask you to turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to join with us and chant to serve at this time. So let us chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. All those new listening for the first time, uh, this is a blessing, so make a request. The rest of us, let us offer this unconditional service. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lu, la, li, lula. Lula Hallelujah, Lula Hallelujah. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run and lay. Wang Li Hing Rong, her musher shong. Shong I ping on her she. Shong I ping on her shade. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha mai au, Eloha kako apau, E pili mai puvai kako, Aloha mali maluhi alokahi, Aloha maluhi alokahi. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. 
我爱我心儿灵，我爱此人人类，王灵荣，儿母是生。相爱平安的谁？相爱平安的谁 ？I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So、uh, again, welcome to Amanda Beatty. Welcome Diane Martin. Welcome to Archana. <clears throat> and all the other souls. If I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. I haven't seen it pop up. Thank you for your attendance. Today is day three of Soul Secrets for Self Healing. Today we are going to employ and do a lot of practice some very special、uh, um, self healing secrets. These will serve you not only today but every day. I mentioned before. Please write down those things that are important that you need to remember. And do this often. If you've had a long-standing issue, relationship issue, finances, pain, it will take more than once to sustain the benefit gained. There is definitely gain that occurs, but if you want to sustain the gain, you need to do it more than once. Why? Because the root cause of all success and all failure in every aspect of life is karma. So, if you have something that you're not enjoying, it's karmic. Do you think it's going to go away with one practice? It could, which means it was light, but it probably will not fully dissolve, which means it's heavier than one day's worth of karma. So that means you need to do the services. The first secret: everything has a soul. The angels have a soul. Buddha has a soul. Jesus has a soul. The chair has a soul. The computer has a soul. Well, what's the difference? The souls of the beings of light have reached this high level of beingness through unconditional service and the acknowledgement of oneness. They serve unconditionally. They think not of self. They only think of others. The souls that are chairs and tables, they have the initial spark of the divine in them. But In carrying that initial spark of the divine, they have to go through the process of awakening, service, and gaining good virtue. A chair generates virtue by serving us, by uplifting us, holding us in a place where we can、uh, potentially have a good posture and、uh, benefit our processes of the day. Therefore, over maybe a million、uh, years, the chair could become a human. And so everything comes from original source creator as energy and matter. And goes through the process of becoming a material item, goes through the process of becoming conscious of its livingness, and goes through the process of becoming a light being, and then eventually finds its way back to the heart of the divine. This is the nature of life.、Uh, demons are souls. Everything is from original creator. Good side, bad side, everything. We only focus on the light side. Never ever give attention to the darkness, other than saying. Please forgive me if I have done anything that has caused you to come to me to create this suffering, because the only reason darkness, any darkness comes to us, hear this clearly, the only reason any darkness comes to us is from the karma that we or ancestors created. So, in the process of soul secrets, we need to understand that our soul carries forth all light, all darkness that we and our ancestors have ever created in all time. Doesn't matter if we remember it or not. If we're suffering, that's the original point. And so, how do we resolve it? With light, pretty simple. And we want to bring as much light to us as possible through the uh, um, powers that have been infused in so many objects and things, and even the soul song of love, peace, and harmony. 
is infused with such a high light-based frequency, humanity is no clue. If humanity had a clue, they'd be chanting it 24-7, and we would all be solving our problems very rapidly. That's our overall goal and intention, bring as much light as possible. That's one of the tools. But today, the first step, soul power. There are inner souls, there are outer souls. Inner souls, the soul of our organs and our systems, the soul of our cells and our cell units, the souls of our uh, uh, chakras, the souls of our energy meridian system. All of them have a soul, and the purpose of every soul, as Master Shah states in his books very eloquently, is to serve. That's how a soul goes higher. Even the souls that come to us and cause suffering to us are actually serving us because they're giving us the opportunity to recognize that we had brought harm to others. They're giving us the opportunity to awaken to forgiveness, to awaken to a bringing light to the matter, to awaken to clearing the karmic debt. That is their service to us. So every soul's purpose is to serve. So one of the greatest powers that we can employ to bring about uh, self-healing is the recognition of soul power. There are inner souls, as I've just given an example, and there are outer souls. You heard me do a calling, all beings of light. This is an example of connecting to the outer souls. An outer soul uh, that is of a light uh, essence, such as our beloved Jesus, our beloved Mother Mary, our beloved Buddha, our beloved Krishna. These great light beings that have preceded us they carry a much higher frequency than us. God carries a much higher frequency than us. A Mother Earth carries a much higher frequency than us. So it stands to reason that if I want to accomplish self-healing for my finances, for my relationships, that I would want to call as much of the light beings as possible, right? How did they become a light being? They became a light being because they dedicated their life to serve. Is Mother Earth serving us? Yes. She's providing us life, oxygen, water. She is sustaining not only the seven billion humans, she is sustaining all the microbes. She is sustaining everything throughout this entirety of Earth. She is a life-giving nurturer for so many souls, there's not enough zeros to count the number of souls. How much good karma does she have for sustaining so much life with unconditional love? Her frequency is extraordinarily higher than ours. So it makes common sense to ask her assistance. No different than it makes common sense to ask God's assistance or Jesus or Buddha. The reason they are light beings, service-oriented beings, is because they understood the laws of the universe. The laws are, the more service, the better the karma. Unconditional service is unconditional good karma, unlimited good karma. And so those before us that are light beings figured it out, and they come back to assist us. Whether we see them or not, they're always present, and they're always here to serve us. It's our job to write down and practice every day with this innate and soul secret intelligence. It's our responsibility to not forget this very, very simple teaching, because it is exceedingly simple, it's exceedingly logical, but how often do we forget? How often do we wallow in our own crud without thinking about just asking their assistance? They're busy, but souls, another secret is souls can be many places at many times. Mother Earth is serving billions at one time. Jesus, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Buddha, they're all serving millions at one time because they have these very high light bodies that can subdivide and serve all. And so in, in working with this wisdom, we want to apply it in the layers. So this is called soul power. Body power, mind power, sound power, soul power. There are other things that include soul power. 
uh, the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony you just heard me chant. That carries a very high frequency. It carries divine's frequency of love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. That's an extraordinarily high frequency. So it stands to reason that I should include that when I'm doing a self-healing for my finances, my relationships, uh, any form of suffering that's showing up in my physical body, my emotional body, my mental body. For you, Amanda, it doesn't matter what label it is, demon attacks this, demon attacks that. It's karma. What, how do you deal with it? You don't deal with it by using the word demon attacks. And that's focusing on the negative. You deal with it by bringing light, the four powers. And so you choose the area where the suffering is occurring, be it uh, finances or a health issue or, or a mental uh, negativity, whatever it is, it's simple to comprehend it as negative and not of the light, and it's simple to comprehend it as something that we or our ancestors generated over the course of this thing we call time. And all we want to do is bring as much light to it as possible. Master Shah, who is a light being who has returned to Earth to serve humanity again, has brought more than just words. He has brought more than just uh, uh, written things or verbal things. He has transmitted uh, very high layers of frequencies into objects, into things, into books. And he has even asked uh, the divine, he's very connected to the divine, if there could be things um, created at the heavenly realms that can be brought to us if we simply call upon them. So you call upon Jesus, right? Jesus comes. You call upon Buddha, Buddha comes. You call upon God, God comes. But one of the things they say, have you learned your lesson, my son or my daughter? Are you only asking for my assistance or are you taking responsibility for the harm that you or your ancestors have caused upon others that is currently bringing you your significant financial suffering? Have you recognized that the reason you get trampled on relationship after relationship is because maybe you had done those things to others in previous time? If you take responsibility, my son or daughter, these are the things they say to your soul. We can offer you so much more light and love. Well, of course, we're going to give it to you. But if you do not awaken, you cannot move from where you are of the point of complaining and pointing fingers outside of you to the self-responsibility aspect. That was what I covered, self-responsibility, on day one. And so these are the things that light beings, they always come to serve, but they can only remove so much of our self-created crud. We must uh, do our own part. And that includes not only calling the light beings, but employing as much of the um, secrets of the soul upon layer upon layer to create the benefit. So I will now reveal two more secrets to you and then we're going to do practices okay so also welcome to johannes welcome to amanda i've talked i've mentioned you already welcome to kristen strachan welcome ethrosini welcome kate nicole welcome rebecca gray welcome cindy and welcome michael and jamie dodd and welcome maddie also welcome atina if anybody else's name i didn't mention please forgive me so two more soul secrets, and then we're going to put them all together and do some practices. Soul tapping is recognizing that our soul has a great deal of intelligence. It's lived long, long longer than you and me. We have only as much intelligence as this lifetime has brought to us. Our soul, on the other hand, <laughs> it knows a lot. And it knows exactly where to tap your body it knows exactly where to tap your body to release an emotional blockage. Maybe it's a financial blockage. It could have roots at this part of your, of your skull right here. It could be a blockage right here. Or it could have roots somewhere in your lower abdomen where you're holding on to anger or where somebody dumped you. It could have roots uh, in your heart center where you've held on to angst from somebody harming you financially. Your soul knows exactly where to tap your body to release the karmic blockage that 
resides in your physical, emotional, mental vehicle. So it's called soul tapping. And we, everything has a soul, so we ask our soul to tap our body in the appropriate ways to release our energetic blockages. So we will incorporate that. I have done an entire one hour uh, class on soul tapping. Today I'm just giving you a brief example of it and then you can experience the results, okay? And I'll, you'll see how it's done in a minute. And so the next thing, the next secret, is I already told you that Master Shah transmits power. He, ha he can transmit uh, healing abilities to individuals. You can become a, a Tao Hands healer. Uh, he can transmit uh, power to books, objects, things. He has already transmitted to the Source Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. He transmits actually power to any of his pictures. He says, just put my picture on your source spot. You'll feel much better. <clears throat> he has transmitted power to many, many, many areas of this earth to serve humanity. And in order to uh, recognize the power of what is transmitted, you have to use it. So one of the things that Master Shah has brought to humanity is this. It's called Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Now, about roughly 15 years ago, uh, when Master Shah had been doing whatever the Divine had asked him, you know, go heal these people, go heal these people, he just did what he was asked. Uh, divine said, I am going to create in heaven a healing instrument so all human beings can call upon it and this healing instrument in heaven will come to them to assist whatever they request. No limit, it can be cancer, it can be finances, whatever they request, it will come from heaven to serve. And Divine said, but I want to call it Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Master Shah explains, you know, he was bowing down to the floor. He said, you know, thank you, God, but I really don't want you to name anything after me. Um, I'm just an unconditional servant, and plus it looks like there's some ego associated with it. And Divine said, I know you have no ego, but people need to understand your service, and this is in honor of you for your unconditional service to humanity. So if people call upon it, then it will come. So it's called Shah's Golden Healing Ball, and it resides in heaven. It can go to billions of souls if billions of souls call upon it, because it's heaven's ball. And so we're going to ask it to come. So three things, three soul secrets I have given you today. What are they? Calling upon the outer souls of light, right? That's one of them. Calling upon, this is the second one, calling upon... Uh, soul tapping. We're going to be using soul tapping to help us release a blockage. The next one is calling upon Shaw's golden healing ball. So you should be writing these down unless you have a stellar memory. Be uh, and some of you are veterans, you already know this, but if you don't know this, write them down. The, the one that precedes all those is what I taught yesterday, forgiveness. So that forgiveness should always be number one. No matter what, forgiveness is always number one, okay? Then you can do uh, uh, the other three, and they don't have to be in any order. Soul tapping, uh, invite the light beings, and Shah's golden healing ball. Individually, they have and will create truly remarkable results. But um, if you put them together, you could have very, very good blessings. All right. So, I will offer this in the order, in the verbiage and in the order that it should be done. You can go back, watch this again, pause, watch it, pause, and type out the, in, the entire uh, flow because I'm going to speak out, you know, uh, repeat after me, do this, do this, do this, and I'm going to walk you through the forgiveness practice. I'm going to walk you through calling these souls. So if you want to have this available to you after the fact, you can go back, watch it, type it out, and you'll always have it available to you. And you apply it on a daily basis. 
uh, you, you do it for 30 days, it's exceedingly unlikely you will not have some measurable movement in whatever singular blockage you apply it towards. I recommend you apply it to a singular blockage so you have a, measure, a measurable result. You apply it across the board to many things, you could have all these things change. It's possible, no promises. But for the most power, you want to apply it to a singular area of your life that you're having significant blockage. Okay? Let us do this together. We start by placing our hands in the body power, soul light service hand position. Like a prayer, we drop our left hand in front of our heart center, the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Connect. All the beings of light are with us. I've called them forth. Heaven is present. Repeat. Dear all of the beings of light, beloved divine, beloved creator, dear Jesus, dear beloved Mother Mary, dear beloved Buddha, Kuan Yin, who do you believe? Ask their soul to come, light beings only, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, deeply, deeply, humbly respect you. I ask most sincerely from my heart for your presence today. Dear beloved Mother Earth, Father Heaven, all the beings of light in heaven who wish to serve at this time, including angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, heavens, animals, buddhas, bodhisattvas. I love you all, honor and appreciate you all. I invite you, if you desire to please come, offer your blessings so that I can transform these blockages as they show up in my life. I am deeply grateful. Thank you. Now we're going to connect to the inner souls. Choose the area, one only, of your life. Physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, financial relationship with a certain person. Whatever it is, choose one and let us connect. Dear the soul of, choose your area. For example, my lower back pain, or you can say, soul of my finances. State that. You're the soul of, I love you. Please forgive me for complaining and not taking responsibility for these conditions that are presently in my life. Dear all souls, from this and all lifetimes, I wish to sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you for this condition that I am suffering with. I recognize now that I am fully responsible for all of the unpleasant things that come to my life, that whether I remember it or not, either my ancestors or I had brought harm or suffering in the same way to you. And I recognize now that this has come back to me to remind me. I sincerely, from my heart, apologize. I know how much I have suffered for this condition. I can only imagine how much you must have suffered as a result of wrong choices that I or my ancestors had made. Please, please, please forgive me. I ask you to accept the virtue that will be offered as I do this practice and release me of my spiritual debt to you. I am most grateful. Thank you. Even if you do not forgive me today, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and I will continue to do forgiveness practices to, until I receive your complete forgiveness. I will know when I have received your complete forgiveness when my life has improved for the better. 
I am very grateful. Thank you. Now let us invite the other souls. We've already invited the beings of light. Let us do soul tapping now, and then we'll invite Shah's golden healing box. So continue to repeat. Dear my own soul, I love you. You are extremely wise. Could you please guide my hands to tap my body wherever it needs to be tapped to release the blockages associated with my request for and then state what you requested. I am very grateful. Thank you. Finally, we will incorporate Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Please repeat. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, in heaven, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Dear Divine, I love you, honor, and appreciate you. Thank you for creating Shah's Golden Healing Ball so that I could ask it to come to serve me for this condition. Thank you. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, as I chant today, could you please bless the area of my request to remove as many blockages as possible and as appropriate? I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the setup to the actual highest value practice you can receive. Close your eyes. Your body power is your hand, either your left or your right, whichever it wants to do, is tapping other parts of your body. It could tap your other hand, it could tap your arm, it could tap your legs, it could tap the top of your head. Wherever one or both hands want to go, let it naturally go there. Do not guide it on purpose. Let it naturally go there. Start by tapping your other hand, the back or the front. Just start there, and then wherever your hand goes, don't worry about it. Keep your eyes closed while you're doing this. Visualize golden light coming to the area of your body, of your choice, and if it's anything that is not physically oriented, see it coming to your heart center. We will chant several mantras, including Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Divine Forgiveness, and we might chant another, okay? With your eyes closed, let us begin. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. If your eyes are open, then you're not doing the right thing. Close your eyes, choose the area, start tapping. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. See this golden light in your area of request. It's getting brighter and it's so bright that the darkness is flying out. It simply cannot stay. Continue to chant. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. With love. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, 
Shah's golden healing bow. 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 Now we will chant for forgiveness, visualizing all of the souls in all time that could have been harmed by wrong thoughts, words, or actions, receiving great love, great forgiveness, and see the light shining so much on them that they forgive you. I forgive you, please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring Love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Remember to move your hands if you need to, wherever they wish to go. Maybe it's exactly where you want it to be. Continue to tap wherever your hand guides it. Continue to visualize the golden light. See the forgiveness occurring. See the area of request brighter and brighter. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring Love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. And now we will chant divine love, visualizing God's love coming to this area of suffering. Divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love. Divine love, divine love, divine love, 
divine love, divine love. One more minute. Divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, divine Divine love, divine love. With your eyes closed, bow your head to all of the beings of light who came to offer their virtue to serve your soul journey. They offered their good virtue to offset our spiritual debt. Mother Earth offered her greatest unconditional love to offset our spiritual debt. Offer your gratitude to all these beings. Beloved God offered his or her virtue to offset our spiritual debt. We bow our heads with gratitude, with humility for all of their unconditional service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We bow our heads with gratitude to Master Shah for bringing us this wisdom, to the Shah's Golden Healing Ball for coming from heaven to serve our request. We bow our heads to our own soul for teaching us each and every day how to awaken for its guidance in the body tapping. Gratitude is one of the greatest keys for your ongoing success and the staying power of any of the self-healing that you get as a result of this practice. Part of the staying power is the continuation of gratitude. So continue to do the practice, continue to be grateful. Now, please come out of this state and share your experience. What was it like before you started? What is your condition now? What was the value of this wisdom for you in your soul journey? The sharing is not for me, by the way. It's for others that are watching, and it's for the other 1,000 to 2,000 people that will watch this video or listen to the podcast afterwards because there will be people that will scroll through and look at all of the comments. Uh, they may not be interested at all in the video. Maybe they don't have the hour, but they'll read through all the comments and they'll go, wow, people had amazing results. Maybe I should take time to pay attention to this wisdom. So welcome, Maddie. Uh, thank you so much for coming and thank you for your sharing. Your whole body is tingling. That's the power of soul. I tell you, divine Tao source, all the beings of light are present. <clears throat> we incorporated four or five soul, soul secrets at once. Forgiveness, deep, good forgiveness. Uh, we invited God and all the beings of light. We invited Shah's golden healing ball. We did soul tapping. Our soul guided us. We creatively visualized.